Hi everyone. In today's episode of Google Tag Manager, I'm going to walk you through Google AdWords conversion goal. Let's get started. What we're going to do today is basically make sure that we have the AdWords conversion goal set up properly and then we're going to fire that tag using Google Tag Manager. So let's get started. I'm heading into uh, the AdWords. The way you do it is you go into Tools and Conversions. And we start by creating uh, a conversion for the first time. So we're going to click on Conversion. We are so here's the thing. We have a website called Webock that you all know about very clearly. And what we do is we ask you guys and girls, whoever is watching us, to sign up for a free account. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to walk you through how we would set up the conversion goal for uh, people who are signing up on our website. So here is the website. Um, Basically, our main page is called webock.com slash sign up. This is the page that you will be using in order to sign up. And then when your sign up is complete, when you fill out your information and you sign up, we actually take you to another page, which is uh, which has a different URL, uh, which is called uh, sign up um, complete or sign up success. And we are going to set up this particular link, which goes from the first page, the form page to the success page. And this is how we are doing it right now in inside of um, Google AdWords. So this is how it goes. In general, when you go to the sign up page, it's webock.com slash sign up. And when you're done, when your form has been su submitted successfully, we take you to sign up dash success. So these are the two links which we will use to create the conversion uh, uh, code for a website. So we're selecting and it says pick a name that you'll recognize your reports. I can say uh, webock lead sign up success done enter how much each conversion is worth in your business so depending on what kind of uh, goal you're setting up you might want to uh, monetize that particular um, a lead, for example, and give it some value and say, you know what, every time we've got a lead, it's worth 10 bucks or maybe 50. It's up to you. Obviously, you have to talk to uh, the business people in your company and assess how much a lead would be. But it's not really mandatory, so you can skip it if you want. And then it asks us whether we want to count every conversion. So here's the thing. You might have multiple goals. For example, if a user signs up uh, for your newsletter, that's a goal. If he goes ahead and signs up for another newsletter that you might have, that's another goal. So it's up to you if you want to uh, count every conversion or just one. In For my case, I'm, I'm using only one. And then it asks us for the bracket. Do you want it over the course of 30 days to kind of Google, let Google track it for you? So in case they visited the ad after, let's say, two weeks, do you want Google to keep track of that? It's up to you and you can set it up here. Then the category, if you would like to uh, choose a category from a sale or a sign up or a lead, the one that we're doing really right now is a lead. And I'm going to say yes, uh, including conversions. Yes. And you have to choose your attribution model. I'd like to keep it at the, uh, at the default one set by Google AdWords, which is the last click model. And here you go. I'm saving. And there it is. It's asking me, enter how much each conversion is worth in your business. So in my opinion, I'm going to say don't assign a value. Again, we talked about this. So I'm moving ahead to uh, the next step, which gives me uh, very simply the uh, the tag that I need to fire on the uh, 
thank you page or on the success page, basically on the page that follows the form itself. So if we want to implement this, really, what do we need from this? We need two things which we will use inside of Google Tag Manager, and that is the conversion ID, as you can see here, and also we need the label. All right, let's go ahead to Google Tag Manager. What I'm going to do for now, I'm going to copy this into uh, my notepad so that I have access to these two values, the conversion ID and also the label, which we will be using in a bit. All right, we're done pretty much. Obviously, we can go ahead and say done. And it says, congratulations, you've set up your conversion goal inside of Google AdWords. Now, moving on to firing that tag from within Google Tag Manager. Now, if you did not want to use Google Tag Manager, you can grab that piece of code that you just saw and uh, ask your developer to actually go and add it to your footer of your pages. But we're going to do it the easy way, the better way, and do it through Google Tag Manager. It's very simple. Before I start this process, I want to make sure that I have my Google uh, conversion ID set as a variable because that's going to make my life very easy. Let me double check that I don't have it in place. So if I go to my variables, I see that I only have my tracking ID that I've, uh, and that is for Google Analytics. So I'm going to start by clicking on new. And as you can see, this is a new interface that was released by Google in uh, on the 29th of August 2016. It's a great interface. And let's get going. I'm calling this GA conversion ID. This is my first variable and it's of type constant. So I'm going to scroll down here and pick constant and give it the value which I just copied from AdWords save. Simple, right? Okay, and now we get to creating the tag itself. And this is simple as well. What we have to do is click on new and give it a name. For this, I'm going to call it AdWords conversion tag or AdWords conversion and go ahead and start with the configuration. It's very simple. It's the third option here from the tag type. So AdWords conversion tracking. There you go. First thing, we need to select our conversion ID. We've already, um, we've already set it up using a variable. So there it is. And second is a conversion label. Now, the label that we have here, I'll go to my notepad and copy it from here. And I'm going to paste it. I don't have a value. Again, this is similar to the value that we uh, were supposed to enter in Google AdWords, um, a monetary value associated with this goal. And then um, that's pretty much it. We could actually set a currency as well if we were dealing with currency different than dollars. And I'm going to pretty much keep everything the same. I'm not going to go into uh, the advanced settings, but here's the trick. Here's what gets interesting. Google is asking us, or Google Tag Manager asking us, where when do you want to trigger? When do you want to fire that particular tag? And this is the section that needs to be uh, set up differently. So I'm going to click here. And obviously, I have not created that particular trigger. So I'm going to click on the plus sign here to create a trigger for the first time. And I'm calling it lead sign up complete trigger. All right, I gave it a name and now I, uh, I go ahead to configure it. It is of type P 
page view. Because what we are going to set up here, we're going to tell Google Tag Manager that we want to fire this particular tag only on the success page, on what we have called earlier sign up success. So it's a page view, it's of type page view, and it's going to fire on some pages. And here is the trick. We have to select a page URL which contains, that's fine, it contains sign up success. So whenever you see in the URL a sign up dash success, meaning this is our page, which we want the fire uh, to fire the tag on. And I believe this is it. I'm going to uh, save it. As you can see, it says lead sign up complete trigger. And I'm going to hit on save. There you go. It is created. And we are done. We could test it if we want. We can preview it. Perfect, now we're, we are in preview mode, so if we want, we can go ahead and, um, and test it out. I'm going to refresh this page. When you re refresh this page, it actually gives you the ability to uh, see what tags gets fired on which pages. So let's go ahead and create a new account. I'm going to do it rather quickly. Perfect. Now watch. There you go. Can you see it here? AdWords conversion tag has been fired one time. And that is the expected behavior from this, uh, from the firing of this particular tag. So there you go. It has been created. Now, for the sake of this video, um, everything looks normal. Everything looks perfect. But if you want to know a little bit more about how to set up the similar goal in Google Analytics and whether they clash or they work together, that's a very interesting thing and you need to know about it, then watch my next video because I'm going to dig more advanced into this topic.